about the the Celtics uh mortal enemies here, the Lakers. They acqu- they acquire DeAndre Jordan and uh they send um first of all, what do you think of the the, the Lakers acquiring DeAndre Jordan? We'll start with that. The um Dwight Howard is one much more important. Much, much more important. Like DeAndre Jordan, sure, he can, you know, he'll be that guy. That's fine. Can, I mean, he might be like half of Dwight Howard. Okay. Like he, he'd be the third guy off the bench in the post. Like, okay, that's fine. Maybe you'll make a few good plays here and there. That's fine. But he's nothing nothing significant. There's a reason the Nets didn't want it. All right. So you think so you think um Howard's gonna mean more mean more to them than than Jordan is. So so you think DeAndre Jordan's nothing more than like a bench piece. Just a just a, absolutely a, a decent bench piece. And I'm I'm kind of with you on that. I think I think they'll use Howard more. Um I think they I think they're gonna end up trusting Howard more than DeAndre Jordan. And I he think Jordan, run. I think Jordan's gonna yeah, I think Jordan's gonna gonna be the the bench uh gonna gonna be a bench uh depth um piece and that's about it. But you could see what they're trying to do. They're trying to. They're trying to. I think they're putting together a bunch of veteran guys who they think would mesh well together. I mean, we've talked about it in nauseam too. That the age of that team is 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 a problem. Like they could, that could be the number one enemy of of the Lakers this year. Is is the age, the overall age of that squad. If I think about this. I think about it like this. This is all about LeBron. Obviously, everything's about LeBron, but like it's all about this is specifically is all about LeBron, not even just DeAndre Jordan, but this entire roster is about LeBron. LeBron so desperately wants a fifth or sixth ring, but he could he could settle with a fifth. He, he could deal with a fifth because this is why he wants it. He doesn't want it. Shaquille O'Neal says to this day, he said, man, I messed up. I messed up. I made it to, I think it was seven finals. Seven finals and I only won four. Made it to seven finals, only won four. I was the most dominant athletic person of my generation, and I let it pass me by, and I didn't win everything I could win. LeBron has made it to 11 finals and only won four. Mm. So he's going to look back. If he doesn't win at least five, he's going to be like, dude, I left so much on the table. And, And a lot of people are saying, oh, you can't crush LeBron for making it to the finals, man. Yeah, but I'm not going to crown him either. Know what I mean? I'm not going to just crown him just because you made it. You didn't win as much as you could have won. Kobe won more than you. I don't think they won as much as they should have. Right, exactly. I don't think think they've won as much as they should have. I think a lot of those years, I think a lot of those years, they they shot themselves in the foot. And one one or two of those years, you could directly say it was LeBron's fault. One or two. Not, Not all of them. Not all of them. I'd say 2011... Maybe 2000. Uh, when was it? Though the year that he gave up against KD, that that kind of like pissed me off. I'm not saying it was his fault that they lost, but I didn't like that at all. He was just like, no, oh, no, I scored I, 50, and I. You're talking the GS, the GSW, right? Like when yeah. when Golden State, yeah, where oh, they boy. just kind of where they just kind of raised the white flag, or LeBron yeah. just kind of raised the white flag and was like, oh well, he's like, oh well. Like I scored fifty, I did what I could. It's like, dude, a lot of people have scored fifty. Like a lot of people, I'm, I'm not saying that it wasn't amazing, but like his attitude was so stupid. He should have just been like, I did what I could. You know what I mean? Like he was just like, I did. Look at my stats; they're amazing. <laughs> that that was annoying. But yeah, if he doesn't well, win this, Lakers, it, yeah. But see, like he 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 kind of threw the team under the bus, you know, and was like, well, I did what I could. Yeah. You know. John Larson says if he doesn't win this year, he will leave the Lakers. I don't think it's even possible for him to leave the Lakers. I'm pretty sure they had his rights for two more years. And then after that, who's really going to want him? LeBron comes into your uh, comes into your team and just completely changes your roster. Um, unless you would commit to being a bench piece. But he ultimately said that he wants to play with his son. Um, no one's going to give him as much power as the Lakers are giving him right now. I just don't believe it. Yeah. I don't think he's leaving the Lakers ever. I think he retires there. Even if, if they yeah, lose. If, I'm with you there. I think he'll retire a Laker. I'm, I'm definitely with you there. He's happy um, there. So the second half of that is they they trade Mark Gasol to the Grizzlies, oh, yeah. and then the Grizzlies immediately buy him out. That was cold blooded. Where do you think he's going? 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to ask you about that because my thinking that is, so they Gasol goes to the Grizzlies and the Grizzlies immediately buy him out, which that makes me think a three team trades involved, you know? Like, he's going to go from the Lakers to the Grizzlies, and I think the Grizzlies are going to try and move him ASAP. That's what that says to me. Where do you think he, – like, he used to – it's weird, though. He used to play for the Grizzlies. You would think that they would want him back, but apparently they apparently he wants he, – or you think he'd want to go back, but apparently he doesn't, even though they were just a playoff team. So that is confusing. Um, where where do you think he ends up, or do you think he just goes over to EuroLeague? Well, I think it depends on – it depends on what what do you what grizzly the grizzlies have a couple of needs that they need to fill they need to fill um so maybe they're going to add a bench piece with him maybe they're going to package him with another person and add add a bench score right right i i, I can very well see that um but wait didn't you say they bought him out well they bought him out so they could they they i think they're going to send him so i think they bought him out his contract out mm-hmm. So they could ship them somewhere. That's what I'm. That's what I mean. But how I think do they ship them? That's weird. I could see it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they put them. I, I mean, the, the Grizzlies. They need young talent. They they're like the Bucks or the Bucks, <laughs> not the Bucks. The Hawks. Yeah. The Grizzlies and the Hawks are very similar. You have got an extremely transcendent talent at point guard, incredibly young, incredibly raw, so much ceiling to reach with John Morant and Trey Young. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure where they go from there, but I just know if you got to get, yeah, like a shooter, like you said, would be a good idea because you got John Morant just zipping the ball down the down the court. I could see that for sure. Transition young shooter. Um, maybe somebody who nobody wants. No, no I was going to say Dougie McDermott, but he just signed that, a big contract. That's, that's my thinking on where, what happens there. Like they, they're gonna, they're gonna move. He's he's leaving there. He's amazing. He's gonna get moved. Yes, yeah, I think so. I think he's gonna. Move. I think he's not gonna be there. Sadly, even though he started there and he, I thought he would end there, but I guess not. <laughs> but I mean, maybe he'll go back to the Raptors. He won a title with them. That's somebody, possible. somebody will. He'll he'll play. He'll he's. I think he's still gonna be playing in the NBA. There's teams out there that do need a big man down low that can do what he does. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I there's he's he's a smart veteran. He's been around the game for a really long time. He knows he knows everything there is to know about the game. Um, and, and it's like, yeah, I, I would want Mark Gasol on the team. Like if the Bulls wanted, if the Bulls picked him up, I'd want him for for a price, for a small price. He's you know what he's really good at. He's hard at moving off the block. Once he oh, sets yeah. his feet down low, he's hard to move. He can shoot you know, too. So, so if you need that guy to like just stand his ground under the hoop, and there's a few teams that could use that could use you know a guy. There's a few teams that could that could use a guy like that that just that literally just plants themselves under the hoop and sets you know a guy that you can dish the ball and he can dish and he can you know he's a good passer too. So if you get Vucevic back up, that that's not bad. That would that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. For a guy that just sets his feet and is hard to get off his his spot, that there's teams out there that could absolutely use him. I think so too. No, I, I like Marcus Saul, and and I remember when he dropped fifty something points uh, on I don't remember if it was the Bulls or some one of those teams. It, he he dropped he dropped like fifty something points, and it was just like unbelievable. He could shoot, he was shooting from everywhere. So yeah, he's he's a good player. He's just old, and I could also see him because apparently Pau Gasol is playing in the Spanish league right now. I can see him joining his brother yeah. too. Cause, make yeah, his, his, yeah, because Pau's still playing, isn't he? he? Yeah, he's playing overseas, but yeah, he's he's still playing. Yeah. He's playing, he's playing. So.